Welcome once again to your novena of choice. Many countries around the world find ways of promoting their devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help through exhibitions, seminars, processions and using the mass media. We in the parish of our Mother of Perpetual Help have found a very creative way of doing so by using the internet through YouTube. And you have been very much part of our success story over the past four years. To all fathers who have guided us with unwavering love and wisdom, your strength and sacrifices are the foundation of our lives. Today we honour and celebrate you. Grateful for the countless ways you have shaped our world with your presence and care. We begin our devotion with a Christian hymn written around the year 1885 and sung by many great singers like the late Elvis Presley, Louis Armstrong, including Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. Let us sing together the sweet by and by. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place. The melodious songs of the blessed And our spirit shall sorrow no more Not a sigh for the blessing of rest In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by, and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore I'm really excited because we're coming so close to our feast day and two redemptorist missionaries have come all the way from India and we start the home masses, the BEC masses. We come to the homes of our parishioners every night to spread the good news and devotions to Mary. So let's begin with love and with joy the way Mary said yes. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we're always grateful to God for the abundant blessings bestowed on us because of Mary's intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. As a praying community, we have gathered once again wonderful prayers which Mary will intercede for us, join in the responses, join in the songs. Here are the intentions. Brain health and prevention is the theme chosen for this year's World Brain Tumor Day. The focus is to advocate for the paramount importance of brain health and preventive measures. 
According to medical reports, over 40,000 to 50,000 people are diagnosed with brain tumours in India every year and 20% are children. Depending on the location and intensity of the growth, tumours are classified as benign, non-cancerous, curable, slow growth rate or malignant. Researchers have identified over 120 types of brain tumours on the basis of the brain tissue that they impact. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you all those who are suffering from brain tumours. Lord, we ask for your healing touch upon their bodies. Grant them strength and courage in their battles and surround them with your peace and comfort. Guide the hands of their doctors and caregivers, giving them wisdom and skill in their treatments. Lord, we trust in your mercy and love. May your presence be felt by all who are affected, bringing hope and faith in your miraculous power. For this we pray. Mother Mary, pray for us. We currently face one of the greatest threats ever to our blue planet and all its inhabitants, which is the climate crisis. Our oceans are in critical state Worryingly, marine pollution is reaching extreme levels with over 17 million metric tons clogging the ocean in 2021, a figure set to double or triple by 2040. Plastic is the most harmful type of ocean pollution. Creator God, we thank you for the vast and beautiful oceans that sustain and inspire us. We come before you asking for your guidance in becoming better stewards of these precious waters. Forgive us our indifference and neglect. Open our hearts to hear the cry of nature and the animals in need of our care. Help us to act with responsibility and compassion, making choices that protect and preserve the oceans for future generations. Grant us wisdom and determination to reduce pollution conserve marine life, and support efforts to heal the damage we have done. May we honour your creation with our actions showing respect and love for the world you have entrusted to us. We turn to Mary and say, Mother Mary, pray for us. Let us recall the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary which we celebrated last week. This feast celebrates Mary's maternal love for Jesus, as well as her role as a mother of all peoples, with her heart guiding us towards God. The Memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary celebrates the interior life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, her joys and sorrows, her virtues and hidden perfections, and above all, her virginal love for God and Father. There is a difference between the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Sacred Heart speaks to us of the love of God. The Immaculate Heart of Mary demonstrates for us the tenderness of the maternal love of the woman chosen to be the Mother of God, the Mother of the Incarnate Word and our Mother. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, we come before you as humble servants dedicating our families to your loving and maternal care. We consecrate to you our homes, our hearts, and all that we are and have. O loving Mother, guide us in the path of holiness. Teach us to love each other as you love your Son, Jesus. Help us to be faithful and compassionate, forgiving and generous, reflecting the divine love you embody. Protect us from all dangers, physical and spiritual. Strengthen us in times of trial and intercede for us in our needs. May your Immaculate Heart be our refuge and the way that leads us to God. Fill our homes with peace and joy and inspire us to live in harmony and unity. Grant that our families may always honour God and seek His will in all things. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, we entrust our lives and our loved ones to you. Keep us close to your heart and guide us ever closer to Jesus. Mother Mary, 
Pray for us. Fathers play a crucial role in the emotional and psychological development of their children. Their presence and active involvement contribute to a child's sense of security, self-esteem, and overall well-being, fostering resilience and confidence. Fathers serve as role models, demonstrating values, ethics, and behaviors that shape their children's character and future relationships. Through their actions and guidance, fathers impact essential life skills and lessons, helping their children to navigate challenges and make informed choices and decisions. Father in heaven, thanking you for the wonderful gift of fathers. Their love, guidance and strength are a blessing in our lives. We ask for your protection over them and that you bless them with good health, strength and peace. Keep them safe from harm and guide them with your wisdom. May they continue to be pillars of love and support for their families. We praise you, our Father in heaven, for your divine providence and unfailing love. Thank you for watching over us and providing us with earthly fathers that reflect your care and wisdom. With Mother Mary, we pray. Mother Mary, pray for us. Together we turn to our Heavenly Father and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Here now are the letters that have come into our website and it brings me great joy to read them for you. Dearest Mother, once again you have answered my prayer to a petition for my son-in-law. He was granted what he was looking forward to in a job offer. Thank you, Mother, from your grateful son. Dear Mother Mary, thank you for all the wonderful happenings in our family life and the challenges. God has given us the graces to face all our challenges and protected us from danger and harm. Mother, we know that you are with us and we ask you to teach us your ways. Thank you so much again from your loving son. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, thank you for the preacher last week, Reverend Father Anthony McCallick, and for Father Masang for the wonderful devotions we have been receiving over the past few weeks from your grateful daughter. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, please intercede for my friend's son-in-law, he has been in a coma for quite long. Help him wake up and get well. Dear Mother Mary, please pray for my family's peace and unity and for my grandchildren's good health and to grow in wisdom. Also pray for my relatives and friends who have poor health from your loving daughter. Dear Mother, my daughter is still a single lady. Please help intercede in our prayer to find her a suitable partner. Many guys have come and gone, and none seem to be suitable for her. I surrender to God's will if her vocation is to be single. At the moment, may she find happiness whether she remains single or married from your loving daughter. Dear Mother Mary, please help heal me faster after my operation. My hip and knee has not fully recovered, although I can walk and stand from your loving daughter. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, I pray for our priests who are sick and in the homes. It must be very lonely because they are no longer in active ministry. Mother, comfort them when they are depressed and help them grow gracefully from your loving children. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, please intercede to our Lord Jesus Christ for safe holidays in South Korea and return home safely too 
for my youngest granddaughter and her companions. Also, dear Mother Mary, please intercede to our Lord Jesus Christ for my forthcoming full blood count from your Catholic son. Dear Mother Mary, please give me work with my employer of 28 years, the job you gave me, until I reach 68 years old, retirement age. Please give me good health to continue working. I trust in you. I love you, dear Mother. To my dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, thank you for being there for my children and family over the last few months. Mother, I come begging for your kind prayers and intercession to our Lord Jesus Christ to help my son to score high marks for his English paper, which he is sitting for the exam soon. This exam is important for him to enable him to get his PR in Australia for himself and his family. Please help him, Mother, as this is the third time he's sitting for it from your loving daughter. Dear Lord of the Harvest, I pray for more vocations to the religious life. There are so many religious orders in our country and I pray that those dedicated men and women will inspire more vocations. I also pray for the vocation camp that is going to take place very soon. May Mother Mary lead all those who aspire to the priesthood from your loving children. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, the genocide taking place in the world today has to be stopped through divine intervention. All peaceful negotiations seem to fail. I beg you to ask your son to move the minds and hearts of world leaders about the sanctity of life. The violence will have negative consequences for years to come. Please, Mother of Peace, intercede for us day and night as we lift our prayers to your Son, Jesus Christ, from all your loving children. With all these requests and petitions, we turn to our loving Mother and pray the prayer of confidence. Mother of Perpetual Help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a Mother of Mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help we can conquer, and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us share with Mary a prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Let us pray tribute to the Immaculate Heart of Mary with this old traditional hymn, Hail Queen of Heaven. Immaculate Mary, your praises we
peace be with you. Wishing all of you out there a blessed Father's Day. And may you continue to take after and be inspired by St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. Although silent, but one that is still firm and strong and a pillar for the family. Happy Father's Day to all fathers, single fathers, fathers in white robes, fathers in all your parishes. I'd also like to remember my own father, a memorial of him two years ago, in Thanksgiving. So for all the efforts that you put in to um, make life of children better, I'd like to give thanks to all fathers. So for children, do remember and especially give a hug your father's this day. Thank you. God bless. To all the fathers out there, a very happy Father's Day and very specially to the spiritual fathers who nourish us, who journey with us, who hold us close to your hearts with your prayers, who share Jesus to us as you carry him in your arms and give him to us. Wish you all a very special Father's Day. You have been a source of inspiration, strength, mentor, model and guide as much as our biological daddies do. And therefore, we are happy and grateful to each one of you. Have a wonderful day, wonderful year and be blessed for being a blessing to us. Dear fathers, thank you so much for being spiritually nourishing instruments in our lives. This authority comes from God the Father to be compassionate, to be merciful, that you all have showed in our, especially in my spiritual journey. Thank you so much and wish you a wonderful and a happy Father's Day. May this fatherhood strengthen and bring many more to experience God's compassionate heart and His mercy. Dear single fathers, we know it is not easy. It is a tough job to be all alone leading. But you have remained faithful in your God-given call to be the fathers. I wish you on this special day, happy Father's Day to all the single fathers. Dear beloved fathers, there's something in common between you and me. I'm called a father and I'm a spiritual father. But you are also fathers and I think you are more than me. You are a biological father but you are also a spiritual father to your family, to your children particularly. Who look up to you for vision, for guidance, for protection. You are like a good shepherd. Huh? As much as I am a good shepherd, in a spiritual sense, you are a good shepherd in every sense of the word. So I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the diocese, the name, to wish all of you, dear fathers, a, a very unique blessing that you need and uh, in order to fulfill your role and also to enjoy your role as spiritual fathers and as biological fathers. God bless you on Father's Day. Together in one faith, we turn to the Blessed Mother and pray the Memorare. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. Mother of the Word incarnate, 
Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your sufferings. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen. Mary, from thy sacred image, with those eyes so sadly sweet, Mother of perpetual succor, see us kneeling at thy feet. Child thou bearest, source of all thy joy and woe. What thy bliss, how deep thy sorrow. Mother, thou alone canst know. Now in adoration. Given them bread from heaven. Let us pray, O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You live and reign forever and ever.
Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. We behold our mother, Mary. And that's why this Marian devotion is to honour Mary, not to worship her. Because Jesus says, Behold thy mother, and we come before her with confidence. So we end with this beautiful hymn. I hope you can join us, especially next week. For all parishioners who are coming from afar, we wish you a safe trip to the shrine of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Let's end this. Be with us once again next week. Goodbye. We close our devotion for today with this beautiful hymn asking for the healing touch of God to be upon our broken world, torn with war, hatred, an unforgiving heart, racism and, di and discrimination, and disbelief in the God who loves us. We turn to the God of mercy and compassion to lay His hand upon us. Pray with us next week. I'm looking forward to being with you again as we celebrate the feast of our Mother of Perpetual Help. God bless you. Thank you.